What's up YouTube, it's Dale here from Zethel Wargames bringing you another deck build. Um, now this deck build is a massive budget deck but it is incredibly fun to play, so a Gradle Kaiju deck. Um, we'll get straight into it and as we go through the monsters I'll explain what they do and why they're so fun to play. So we'll start off with the Kaijus, free Gamma Seal, so 2200 attack, 3k defender. Now when the field spell is on play, every time a card goes to the graveyard, so not just a monster, any card goes to the graveyard, you add a kaiju token to the field spell. Um, so all of the gradles have the effect where um, you remove a certain amount of counters and they'll do uh, an effect revo resolve. So Gamma Seal's effect is you remove two tokens and negate um, an effect that's been activated So during any player's turn. Um, now with Gradles, um, Kaiju, sorry, you can only run one. You can only have one on the board at a time. And the main play you usually do is you tribute one of your opponent's monsters, special summon a Kaiju to their side, and then because you've they've got a Kaiju, you can special summon the kai uh, another Kaiju out from your hand, take over, uh, destroy their Kaiju, and then you've got a massive Kaiju beater on your side of the field. Um, obviously, this has been aided with the new. Uh, Kaiju Slumber, which we'll get to that spell card, we'll get to that later as well. Um, so yeah, you can only control one uh, Kaiju on your side of the field, but 9 out of 10 times that's not really an issue uh, when you're running it with the Gradle build. So, um, yep, yeah, the next one is 2 Star Destroyer Kaiju, now this is your beta, um, 3300 attack, 2600 defense, and you remove three kaiju counters anywhere on the field and negate the, um, the uh, an effect. Uh, and then you can destroy one card on the field. So you negate effect and pop. And he's a 3300 BO, so not many cards in the game are getting over that. Just on a normal summon. Uh, 2 Raiden. Uh, 2800 attack, 2500 defender. Uh, his effect is you remove two counters from, a ki uh, from the spell card. And you can special summon out a token of him, which is a 2800, uh, 2800 attack, uh, zero defense. So straight away, if you've got him, remove two tokens, you've got two 2800 um, beaters on the board. Most people are dropping him now um, with the new, uh, new cards coming out, but I think he's really quite good to have in the build. Uh, and then obviously, it doesn't matter what your opponent's got on their side of the field, they could have um, an Infinity Dragon. The Infinity Dragon can't negate because it's just... If you're just tributing, so you tribute the inf yeah, um, tribute the Infinity Dragon, give them a Gamma Seal. You get a special summon out, ride them from your hand, ba um, beat the Gamma Seal. They take 600 damage straight away. Then remove two tokens. Don't don't summon. Give them the Gamma Seal and then you the ride and then then activate your effect because the Gamma Seal will just um, negate and destroy. So destroy the Gamma Seal first, then activate your effect. Or just don't give them the Gamma Seal, give them something else. Speaking of which, here is Dorgorman. So uh, the Dinosaur 3k attacker, 1200 defender. Now you remove 3 Kaiju counters from anyone, and he's basically a Regeki. So you remove the 3 Kaiju counters and you destroy all your opponent's monsters. Not much more needs to be said about him. Uh, and then 2 uh, Sticky String Kaiju, 2400 attack. 2500 defender. Um, you remove two guys you counters from anywhere on the field when your opponent uh, normal or special summons a monster. Until the end of the turn, that monster cannot attack and its effects are negated. So, again, obviously, their effects are you can remove counters from anywhere on the field. So, if you've got the field spell up with counters on it, they can activate their kaiju effects as well. So, you need to either crash over their kaijus first, then activate your effects or make sure you give them the right type of kaiju to get over. Um, so that's it for the kaiju base. Uh, the next base, uh, the art type in this deck is Gradles. Uh, and this is what makes the deck so fun. <laughs> so you've got free alligator. When it's destroyed by battle or spell effect, he um, you basically take one of your opponent's monsters. So they crash into this, destroy it by uh, or regeki it. You get to take uh, one of their cards and this becomes a... Um, Equipped card, which is just great. Um, and then you've got Eagle, so 1500 attack, 500 defender. Um, Alligator's 500 attack, 1500 defender. 
basically when eagle is destroyed by battle or by opponent's card effect you do the exact same thing so you take one of your opponent's monsters uh, two cobra now cobra is again battle and trap effect which is why you only run two because there's not many traps um, that are going to destroy I mean like mirror force maybe um, and stuff like that but he's not as consistent as the rest and obviously you can run him with a gradle split as well which we'll get onto when we get to the trap cards and then finally gradle slime so he's your tuna monster now gradle slime his effect is pretty much amazing so whether he's on the hand or the graveyard you target two gradle cards you control so it could be two of the spells two of the traps um, monster and trap any mix you want destroy them and obviously if you do it with the eagle the eagle gets destroyed by card effect um, is it opponent's card effect? No, so it's just any time where it's destroyed by a battle or monster effect. So if you were to have uh, Eagle on the field and Cobra on the field, for example, you pop both of those. Eagle will then get to take your opponent's monster. Slime gets to bring back will get to bring back the Cobra from the graveyard, and then you synchro over into Gradle Dragon. And again, we'll get to Gradle Dragon when we get to the extra deck. But Gradle Dragon is an absolute beast. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the monsters. Now onto the spells. So free Gradle Impact. Basically, um, you can target one Gradle card you control. So Alligator, hopefully. Um, pop that card and then pop um, any card your opponent controls. So again, if you do it with Alligator, Alligator will get his effect to take your opponent's monster. And then you can pop one of their back rows. Um, the other effect it does is in the end phase, you get to search for a Gradle monster. But you can only use one of those two effects once per turn. Um, here is the waterfront, so this is the field spell card for your kaijus. Um, so every time a card um, is sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to place one kaiju counter from this card. Um, maximum five counters you can have. Once per turn, while three or more kaiju counters are on this card, you can add a kaiju monster from your deck to your hand. And then if this card would be destroyed, you can remove one kaiju counter from it instead. I mean, not much more needs to be said about that. Um, that's an absolute beast. And then here's the new card from Bosch, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Now this is amazing. It's basically a dark hole, and then you get special summon two Kaiju. Um, one Kaiju wants to their side of the field, one Kaiju to your side of the field. So you, you dark hole, destroying all their cards, um, all their monster cards, and yours if you have to. Um, and then you get special summon. So even if you get hit with vanities on this, it still kind of counts as... Um, a dark hole, so it will still destroy all the monsters on the field, but it won't special summon the two kaijus. Um, and interestingly, vanities won't stop gradles because gradles aren't a special summon; they just they're a quick god. Uh, I'm testing out two pot of dualities um, just to get a bit more consistency in the deck. I don't really like um, upstart goblin because I don't like the fact of giving your opponent um, an extra thousand attack. Um, but the good thing with pot of duality, unless you're going to crash in or unless you want to special summon a kaiju um, you get this is pretty much uh, unaffecting the deck uh, double MST can be easily put into twin twisters so anytime you see MSTs you can always think twin twisters uh, two dark holes obviously one of these will be a regeki um, just to balance out but you know uh, a terraforming to help search out the field spell card could run this at two and then these become your dead cards to be dropped for Twin Twister. Uh, so that's it for the spells. Now onto the traps. I only run three traps, but again, you can run the generic traps like a Notice uh, or Strike uh, and all of that anyway. So Gradle Split. Basically, um, you target one face up once you control it, gains 500 attack. Um, and then during your main phase, you can send this card and equip monster to the graveyard. Um, so if you send Cobra, Cobra will get the effect and take. Uh, and then you special summon two Gradle monsters with different names from your deck. But you destroy them during the end phase. So, constantly plushing on that. And then one Gradle Parasite, just for a bit of protection. So when you attack directly, um, or when your opponent uh, attacks directly, you get a special summon there. So when you attack directly, um, you get to bring back one of their cards from the graveyard. Um, uh... So yeah, you get this, uh, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, and especially on that target to their uh, to their side of the field. 
if they control no monsters. And then when an opponent wants to direct, uh, declares a direct attack, you can special summon one grade or monster from your deck in attack position if you control no monsters. So um, that's it for that for the main deck. I've only got one side deck at the moment, uh, one card in the side deck, and that's a grade or dragon. Uh, would bump this up to two. Just need to get hold of another one. Um, and then you could probably run some rank threes, uh, XZ's rank threes, uh, to overlay uh, if you get stuck with your Gradles. Uh, but your big beaters are all in the Kaijus, so there's not really anything to worry about with that. And then when Dragon comes on the field, usually you're using two Aqua types to overlay, and he gets to pop the same amount that uses his materials on the field. So, and then when he's destroyed, you can special summon. Um, a water monster in your graveyard, but its effects are negated. So, and a, a 300 attack and a 2k uh, K defender, pretty good. Uh, and the reason I like this deck so much is it's so fun to take your opponent's monsters and tribute your opponent's monsters. And also, it's a really good budget build. I mean, every card in this deck, Gradle Dragon's only a couple of quid, and then all the Kaijus are about a pound each. Gradles, if you've got a really good friend, you can pick them up for free. Um, so, that's not an issue. The spells are all generics. There's not really any money cards in those. These now they're in Bosch. They're about five for a playset. Not even that. Um, so it's a great budget build for. Uh, I mean, you can probably pick it all up for about 15, 20 quid at max. Um, so yeah, don't forget. To, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share our page. Uh, and I'll bring you more deck profiles, box openings, and jewels very shortly. Uh, let you know what you think about Gradle's uh, Gradle Kaijus if you ever played them. Uh, I've tried playing Gradles in Yang Zings, and that seemed to work out quite nicely as well. Uh, just to let them know what you what else you think you could run the Kaijus or the Gradles in uh, to see to bump up different decks. So yeah, thanks guys. Cheers.